Alright, so we are back today with another throwback rebuilding uh, video here on NBA 2K17 with the 2004-2005 roster. Now, we are using the Chicago Bulls in today's video. Um, Yeah, their highest overall dude is a 79, and it's Kirk Heinrich and Eddie Curry. So, this team is definitely going to get blown up. Uh, actually, Eddie Curry has an A-plus potential, so I might, I might have to, you know, keep him on the team. I might trade him, though. I'm not really too sure. Um, really, no one on this team is safe. I do want to get rid of Antonio Davis. 12 mil a year, no thank you. Um, and I might as well try to get rid of as many expiring contracts as possible. Now, before y'all start saying in the comments, you know, you haven't uploaded in like a week and a half. I know, I've been a pretty shit YouTuber, alright? Um, I, I was supposed to upload yesterday. And I was like, oh, I'm gonna come home and edit this video. But then my Elgato decided to corrupt the footage. So shout out to Elgato. Let's get right on into today's video uh, with the trades of season one. Hopefully we can win a championship in three years. I don't think we're going to win a championship this year or next year. I just think that's highly unlikely. All right. So in year one, the Raptors are usually really, really bad. So I am going to try to get, to get their first round pick from them. I don't think that they're going to take this, but uh, you never know with 2K's trade finder. And they don't want to give that up. I really don't want to get rid of Eddie Curry, Kirk, Kirk Heinrich, Ben Gordon, or Luol Dang. Because, uh, you know, if I give them to the Raptors, then, like, they're going to be uh, a better team. So, maybe they'll take this trade. Yes, they do. All right. So, we get rid of Tyson Chandler. So, now we have their draft pick. This team is pretty garbage. Um, I think, honestly, I'm just going to keep the team like this. Like, I really don't want to make any big trades. Basically, my goal in year one is kind of to tank just a little bit. Um, I would like to get uh, a nice pick in the draft, so then that way I can get, oh, I don't know, Chris Paul or Darren Williams or Raymond Felton or Gortat or Bynum or Bogut. So uh, we are just going to keep our pick, and we are just going to try to tank. So this is what our team looks like here. Start of season one, Kirk Heinrich, Ben Gordon, Luol Dang, Matt Bonner, and Eddie Curry. Off the bench, Chris Duhon, Eric Williams, Adrian Griffin, Othella Harrington and Gennaro Pargo. So those are the four guys that not getting any minutes. So let's simulate to the end of season one and hopefully we can finish with one of the worst records in the entire NBA. At the end of season one, Tracy McGrady wins the MVP award, almost averaging a triple double. Josh Smith wins the rookie of the year. Antonio Daniels wins the six man of the year award. KG wins the defensive player of the year. Paul Pierce wins the most improved player. And Bob Weiss, or Bob Weiss, hell, I don't know. He wins the coach of the year as the Pistons once again finish with the best record in the entire Eastern Conference. So we finished 16 and 66 on the year. It was my goal to tank, and you know what? We did it. So thank goodness we did that. Let's see how the Raptors did this season, though. Uh, hopefully they did. Yep, they did. They did almost just as bad. Uh, well, not really. Uh, they finished 13 games ahead of us. And in the West, the Jazz were the worst team. So, there is the playoff picture for the West. Let's take a look at the stats on the year who really did a lot of work. Uh, Eddie Curry, almost 16 points with 13 rebounds. Kirk Heinrich, Lil Deng, Ben Gordon. I mean, really, this team didn't do well, obviously. So, uh, hopefully, we can just get that number one pick in the NBA draft. We will have two chances in the top five, I do believe, to get that number one pick. And who's going to win the championship? Is it going to be... The Orlando Magic win it. Steve Francis is the finals MVP. Yo, look at this Magic team, though. Like, they got Steve Francis. They got Dwight. They got Grant Hill. Hito Turkaloo. Yo, that is definitely surprising. So we have the best odds to get the number one pick. And we have the six best odds to get the number one pick. Since I don't really want to wait through the whole entire draft lottery like this, what I'm going to do, I'm going to skip it. Hopefully 2K's on my side. Hopefully they give me the number one and number two picks in the draft. Oh my god. We got the fourth and the sixth. 2K just cheesed me, bro. All right. So the Jazz get the top pick. Then goes Clippers, Hornets, us, Bobcats, and then us again. So, um, I don't really know exactly who I want to get, but, um, I mean, we do have $71 million in cap. I don't know if I want to keep Kirk Heinrich or not. I feel like I should at least try to trade up to get the number one pick. Uh, so that way I can get uh, Chris Paul because Chris Paul is probably going to be a better player than Kirk Heinrich in this video. This is the process of trading up for the number one pick. If you guys don't know how to trade up in the draft, uh, basically what you do is you go to the pick right above yours. So you see I have the fourth pick. I'm trying to get the third pick. So 
we will be getting the third pick and Speedy Claxton. Next, you go over to the second pick, which is by the Clippers. And they want Matt Bonner and the third pick. Uh, if there's no better trade offers here, actually, I like this one just a little bit better because we're getting rid of uh, a worse player. And then you just go over to the number one pick, which is made by the Utah Jazz, and then nothing's found. So uh, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to try to trade up from the sixth pick now, which uh, I think can happen and will happen. So uh, I will see you guys in the NBA draft with the second overall pick. Hopefully we can get CP3. All right, so the Utah Jazz took Chris Paul with the number one pick in the NBA draft. Uh, I did trade up for the third pick. So now we have back-to-back -back picks in this NBA draft. Uh, no, don't select that, dude. All right, so the mock drafts, they have the second pick being Darren Williams, the third pick being Andrew Bogut, uh, Darren Williams, Andrew Bogut, and Darren Williams and Andrew Bogut. So I think what I'm going to do is get Darren Williams. He's a B overall. Um, there's really no one else that I scouted uh, really too crazy. So Darren Williams, I will be taking him with the second pick in the draft. I, I just, I wish, I just wish the Jazz would have taken Darren Williams. That would have been a whole lot better for me. Um, maybe I can trade the third pick and Chris Paul will show up in the trade finder. I doubt it though, because uh, 2K doesn't really love me like that. 2K hates me. They want to see me suffer. Uh, let's go to the Jazz. Okay, Carlos Boozer. All right, so... Um, I mean, I mean, honestly, that's not that bad of a trade, but, um, I, you know what? I actually don't know what I want to do. I really have no idea what I want to do. Um, I mean, I feel like taking Bogut is the best option here. He's a B overall. You know what? Let's just go ahead and take Bogut. Um, I can, I can always trade him, uh, after I sign him, but, uh, let me just see who else I want to get rid of. Let's get rid of Eric Williams and, uh, Speedy Claxton. I did get him. Uh, let's see if I can get anything for him. Hopefully, I can just get like a draft pick. There we go. Two top three protected picks, but they're from the Suns, though, so they're actually going to be uh, pretty good. Chris Duhon and uh, Othella Harrington. Hopefully, we can once again get some draft picks. Kenya Martin, that's actually kind of tempting, but uh, I'm not too sure if I want to do it. The only way I get Kenya Martin is if they give me their first round pick this year. And they want Ben Gordon. Not going to do that. I will give you two second round picks, and they still don't do it. You know what? Ben Gordon. And a 2018 unprotected pick. You know what? Let's do it. All right. So we get one more pick in the draft. I, I will not show you guys that, but uh, you guys will see who I choose with that selection. So I said that I would show you guys who I selected uh, in the draft, but uh, this trade is just a little bit too good for me to pass up. It is a top three protected pick from the Clippers, and I think they're going to do bad. So hopefully um, they can just be super trash next year. So look at how many first round picks we have in the next two years. That is good. Let's go to free agency. Let's try to sign Ray Allen. So this is our big free agency signing, man. Larry Hughes, an 82 overall, signing him to the max. Uh, three years, $83 million. All right, okay. So I tried to get a lot of players, all right? I will just show you who all I tried to get. Uh, I tried to get, uh, well, Larry Hughes, we did get him. I tried to get Michael Reddy goes to the Mavericks. For once, Ray Allen did not go to the Mavericks. I tried to get Jason Richardson. He goes to the Warriors. Ray Allen went to the Celtics. So um, now all the Celtics need is KG, and they have the big three just like uh, three years earlier than they actually got him. So um, I really don't know what this team is right now. I accepted Kirk Heinrich's player option. Oh, no, his team option. Uh, because basically what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna trade him and I'm gonna hand the reins right over to Darren Williams Bogut is also uh, a 78 overall. So he will be our starting center uh, This team right now not really looking too hot Hopefully we can make some trades at the start of season two to at least make us make the playoffs All right, so I need a backup shooting guard on this team I said that I was gonna get rid of Kirk Heinrich and uh, Jerry Stackhouse is just chilling right here So let's go ahead and get Jerry Stackhouse on the team. Uh, he will now be our starting. Actually, he will be our sixth man. Uh, we have too many centers on the team, so let me trade this uh, Brezek, dude. By the way, uh, I signed Kwame Brown uh, in free agency. So if we don't win the championship, there's something wrong with 2K. So uh, let me trade Primo's Brezek and uh, maybe get a good backup point guard for him. Rafer Alston, uh, kind of tempting, kind of not. Uh, these trades actually are kind of awful. Um, Rafer Alston... That's probably the best trade. Actually, I want Damon Stoudemire. If they want to give me Damon Stoudemire, I will happily take that. Oh, okay. We would acquire a lot more money than we're allowed. So let me get rid of Eric Dampier. I will also get rid of Eric Dampier. They just have to give me a center. Give me Lauren Woods. We, we need to keep 13 players on the team. All right. 
Will they do this? What if I also included the Nuggets first round pick this year? There we go. Damon Stoudemire. All right. So I probably, you know what? That was probably a stupid trade because now I don't have a backup center. But uh, team right now, not looking too bad. Um, I just would like a better backup four and a better backup three. So I know I said that I needed a backup four, but I also want to get an upgrade at the power four position first. So Kenya Martin, two first round picks for Carlos Boozer and the Jazz do accept the trade offer. So Carlos Boozer comes to the Chicago Bulls, like, what is this, 2005, 2006? So he comes to the Bulls like five, six years earlier than uh, he did in real life. So now all I need is a, uh, well, well, I mean, okay, I have Kwame here, right? So I think Kwame is just going to be my backup four. He has a B plus potential. It's not that bad. Uh, really, all I need now is a backup center and a backup, uh, whatever it's called, backup center and a backup small forward. So let's go and trade Lauren Woods and uh, Eric, that dude's name. Um, let's just see what comes up. Oh my God, these trades are so bad. These trades are so bad. All right, let's just get... Lair, uh, Laron, Laren, I don't even know. And then let's trade Kendall Gill and Anthony for a. Oh my god, dude, these trades are so bad. All right, uh, I will just do this with the Nuggets. Um, if if I can sign a center in free agency, that'd be nice. But uh, I don't think I have enough room for Mahimi. Yeah, he wants four mil. Uh, definitely not gonna do that. So, yeah, the team right now, I don't really know what this is. Like, we don't have a backup center. We don't really have a backup three. Ooh, Reggie Evans. Yo, Reggie Evans. I can move him to the three or the center position. Actually, let me see what I can get for this dude right here. Danny Fortson. I want Danny Fortson. We would have hired too much money. Of course we would. So let's give you... Oh, man. I don't want to trade any of these players. So we are just going to roll with this lineup that we have. I was just talking for like 30,000 seconds there. So we got Darren Williams, Jerry Stackhouse, Lou Aldang, Carlos Boozer, Andrew Bogut, off the bench, Damon Stoudemire, Larry Hughes, Kwame Brown, and that's it. So an eight-man rotation. This season's probably going to be really rough, but we do have some draft picks. So hopefully, uh, if we don't do well, hopefully we can be uh, a top team in the... Wait, that makes actually no sense. If we don't do well, hopefully we can get uh, a, a lottery pick. LeBron James wins the MVP at the end of season number two, averaging 23.6 points, 9.6 rebounds, and 10.4 assists on a Cleveland Cavaliers team that's probably not that good. Chris Paul wins the Rookie of the Year, 16 points. Man, I so wish I could have got him. This dude's an 85 overall, man. I'm so pissed that I couldn't get him. You know what? It's fine. If you look in the bottom right, you can see our record, so you know what? I'm fine. Uh, Bonzi Wells wins the sixth man of the year. LeBron also wins the defensive player of the year. Eddie Howes wins the most approved player. And Bob Weiss, once again, man, the Pistons, 61-21, first in the Eastern Conference. So we finished only two games behind the Pistons for the top seed in the Eastern Conference. We are the second seed, and we're taking on the Miami Heat in the first round. Now, uh, the Miami Heat, um, yeah, they got Shaq and they got Dwayne Wade. So... We might be screwed. We might not. Not really too sure. Uh, they also have 36-year-old Alonzo Mourning. Really nothing else too crazy on the team. Uh, when you take a look at these standings, we had the Nuggets pick. First of all, let me, let me just show you guys the uh, Eastern Conference standings. Uh, we had, well, we have currently the top three protected Clippers pick. So if we don't win the championship, we do have a chance of getting a top five pick. And then we had the Nuggets pick, and they finished 50 and 32. So uh, it's pretty good that we traded that pick away. Mavericks, once again, top seed in the Western Conference. Player stats on the season. Boozer with 18 points and almost 14 rebounds. Almost 10 defensive rebounds a game. Very insane from Carlos Boozer. And just like when you look at the numbers from last year to this year, definitely they all go up. So uh, really, I like the way that this team is going. Bogut averaged a double-double. Uh, Darren Williams. Uh, 14 points with 8.4 assists. Kwame averaged five and a half with four and a half. So, uh, I I I really like this team right now, but I'm not too confident that we're gonna beat the Heat. Yeah, like we lose by seven in game one. Um, I'm not too confident that we are gonna win this series. Are we gonna go down? Okay, good. All right, two one. As long as we don't trail in the series ever again, I'm fine. Okay, there we go. Four two. We win. Now we're taking on my favorite team, the Indiana Pacers. Um. Reggie Miller retired last season, so they are they are without Reggie Miller. Uh, they added TJ Ford in the offseason, uh, Anthony Johnson, Charlie Villanueva. Really nothing else too crazy on this team, but Jermaine O'Neal, Ron Artest, Steven Jackson. Uh, I mean, I mean, really, Ron Artest is probably going to shut down Luol Deng. Hopefully that doesn't happen. Hopefully we can win this series. 
We win by five. We win by one point. Okay, 2-1. They're probably going to tie it up. No, I, I swear. If we blow a 3-1 lead, if we blow a 3 Thank you. I was about to say. Now we're taking on the Detroit Pistons. I mean, this team is always really good in this, in, in these kinds of videos uh, with this roster. I mean, they have four, five, six guys above an 85. Like, how am I going to stop this? If we win this series, it will be a miracle, but... <laughs> I really don't think that we're going to win this series. There is no way we are actually going to win this series. We lose by 11 in game one. Lose by 29 in game two. Oh, hey. hey look, would you look at that. We win by four. Win by four in game three. All right, let's go. Two. Oh, yo. We held them to 60 points. Oh, my God. Yo, Boozer almost had a 20, 20. All right. This game is huge. The Suns are up 3-1. Let's hope that we can win game five. Can we? Damn it. All right. We only lost by two. Oh, my God, man. If Luol Deng and Bogut make both of their free throws, we win. All right, game six. Game six. Oh, man. All right, we lose by 21 points in game six. And the Phoenix Suns win the NBA championship. Man, I really thought we had a chance there. Like, when it was tied, I had a little bit of optimism. Let's go on to season three as Sean Marion wins the finals MVP. Okay, so originally when the draft lottery happened, we had the eighth pick in the draft. I have managed to move up to the second pick in the draft. The Bobcats have the number one pick in the draft, and there's nothing found. Really? I, I, I mean, come on. Like, second pick and, you know, uh, for the first pick, they won't do that. And also, I got rid of a lot of players. Uh, I will uh, uh, show you guys what all happened. Uh, I don't know who to get. All right, uh, I will get rid of Casey J Jacobson, whatever his name is, and Jamal Tinsley for the first. Let's go. We got the number one pick in the draft, and you're probably wondering why do you want the uh, number one pick so bad? Uh, there's some. There are some good prospects here. Brandon Roy, Rudy Gay is a 77. Uh, Lamarcus Aldridge, Paul Millsap, Kyle Lowry. I just really wanted the number one pick, and this gives me leverage to trade it for a big name player. All right, so with the first pick in the NBA draft, we will be selecting Brandon Roy, shooting guard from Washington, man, 6'6", 216. He's literally number one on everyone's board. Uh, really, no significant weaknesses. All of those stats, all of the grades. Let's go ahead and do it. Brandon Roy with the first pick in the draft. I tried to get something from... Uh, I, I tried to get something for the first pick. Yo, I tried to get Dwight Howard, but Dwight was untouchable. Like, if I could have brought Dwight to the team. All right, Brandon Roy is an 80 overall. So, no more trades, no more signings will be made. I mean, unless... Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. By the way, yeah. Um, I got rid of uh, a lot of players. Uh, I will show you guys the uh, transaction report thingy when uh, I get out of the drafts. So, now we, you guys can see who all I traded. Let's just uh, hurry up and get this over with. All right, 80 overall, Brandon Roy. I really hope... He is the best person in this draft. I really hope he is the best prospect in this draft. I mean, if not, I can always put him in the uh, untapped potential camp. But, okay. Oh, LaMarcus was an 81. Okay, but I don't need a power forward. So, uh, the transaction report. Yeah, um, I kind of traded a lot of guys. Uh, I traded uh, Damon Stoudemire for Brevin Knight. I traded Larry Hughes for Jamal Tinsley. And I traded Brevin Knight for Casey Jacobson. And then Jamal Tinsley, Casey Jacobson, as you guys saw for the first pick. So, those are the uh, those are the trades I made. We have how many? How many? We have fifty six million dollars in salary cap. So, um, I okay. Amare is a free agent. If I can bring him to the team, we are without a doubt winning a championship in season three. Hey man, I called it. Amare Stoudemire, welcome to the Chicago Bulls, man. If we do not win the championship, there's something wrong with this game. All right, so I need a backup to actually. Uh, I don't know if I need a backup two or not. I really honestly have no idea. Yo, Amari looks so good in a Bulls jersey. Anyway, uh, we do not need a backup two because we have Brandon Roy and Jerry Stackhouse. Uh, I need a backup three and I need a backup point guard. So uh, let's see who all is out here. Peja, can I get Peja? Oh man, I'm so close to getting Peja. Tayshawn Prince. Yo, we can get Tayshawn Prince. I will sign Tayshawn Prince. I am fine with signing Tayshawn Prince. And then we need a backup uh, point guard. So let's go and get... Mike James, all right. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be able to sign him because um, Tayshawn Prince is going to have way too much money. Okay, Tayshawn Prince, welcome. And then I need to get Mike James, and of course, he's already gone. So, Speedy Claxton for the minimum. All right, let's go ahead and do that. I am I am totally okay with doing that. Speedy Claxton, welcome to the team. Yo, we have a squad right now. Wait, who's this? Yo, 
Allen Houston for the minimum. Let's go. Um, I'm just going to sign guys to the minimum now. I mean, why not go ahead and just sign up for the minimum to fill out our roster? So our team just looks really nice. We are going to win the championship. I'm calling it right now. If, but, like, if, if we don't, 2K has something against me. I, like, I swear. All right, so no trades will be made here at the start of Season 3. You guys will next be seeing the NBA playoffs. We got Dare Williams, Brandon Roy, Lou Aldang, Carlos Boozer, and Amare Stoudemire off of the bench. We have the best bench in the entire NBA right now. Tayshaun Prince, Jerry Stackhouse, Andrew Bogut, Glenn Robinson, Speedy Claxton, Kwame Brown, Allen Houston, Travis Best. We have a good bench. If we don't win the championship, like I've been saying 36.6 times, dude. There's something wrong with this game. At the end of season three, Kobe wins the MVP award. Kyle Lowry is the rookie of the year. He is on the Memphis Grizzlies. Marcus Camby wins the sixth man of the year. LeBron wins the defensive player of the year, averaging a triple double. Sasha Vujicic wins the most improved player. And Greg Popovich wins coach of the year as we have 63 and 19, going up for first in the Eastern Conference. Listen, man, I am wasting no time with this. Uh, real quick, uh, I will just show you guys the stats because you guys, well, some of you guys like it when I show you the stats. So there you go. There are the stats on the year. We are wasting no time. We are taking on the Magic in round one, and we're going to beat them in four games because we are better than them. All right, now we're taking on the Sixers. They have Allen Iverson. I know that for a fact. I think they might have Chris Webber. Not, how are they up 2-1? What the heck? What the heck? 3-2? Okay, good. Okay, good. All right, so now... Taking on the Washington Wizards, I don't know how they made. Actually, I mean, I can kind of see it. Eddie Curry, uh, I didn't have enough room to sign him in Season 1 uh, free agency, so he is now on the Washington Wizards. They have uh, Gilbert Arenas and uh, Antoine Jameson and Eddie Curry as their big three. So, let's just see. Oh, my God. 131 to 74. All right, yeah, we are going to sweep them. Like, there's no way we are actually going to lose a game. There is no way we are actually going to lose a game. And now we're taking on the reigning NBA champions, the Phoenix Suns. Steve Nash, Sean Marion, Joe Johnson, Quentin Richardson, Leandro Barbosa, Nizer Muhammad. But, I mean, we kind of took uh, an important player from them, Amari Stoudemire. So we are going to win this series because our team is better than them. My logic makes absolutely no sense, but you know, oh, no, no, no. Are we going to sweep? Yo, let's go. We swept him. Yo, I don't know how the hell, but all right. Amare wins the finals MVP against his former team. Let's go, man. All right. This is what the final championship roster ended up looking like. We had Amari Stoudemire, Carlos Boozer, Tayshaun Prince, Jerry Stackhouse, Lou Aldang, Darren Williams, Andrew Bogut, Brandon Roy, Kwame Brown, Speedy Claxton, Glenn Robinson, Allen Houston, and Travis Best. Make sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe if you guys did enjoy. If everything turns out the way it should, tomorrow's video will be a two-team rebuilding video. Um, if you guys don't follow me on Twitter, make sure to go do that, at CSP underscore YT. Also, follow Choke Industries on Twitter. It's just at Choke Industries. Uh, we are slowly approaching, I think, like 1,500 or like 2,000 followers. I don't really know, but I really want some more followers on there. We have some funny tweets, so just go ahead, follow us over there. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys all next time.